Welcome back to the Six O'Clock Show, where we're live with you right up until seven this evening. We've been talking to former Fine Gael politician Nora Owen and Fair City actress Rebecca Grimes already tonight. Well, next on the Six Sofa, let's say hello to one of the most buzzed about singers of the moment. Viewers of Love Island went wild for her track Lost Without You after it was used on an episode recently and she was catapulted firmly into the spotlight. Before we say hello, let's remind ourselves of her song's appearance on the most dramatic moment of the season. Everything that she said last night, she's taking back. It's me, me, feel like I could and nobody knows. There's nothing more I can do, really. It's fine. <laughs> Welcome, Freya Ridings, to the Supergirl Show. <laughs> <laughs> you make people so sad, Freya. I'm so, yeah, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Did you know that was going to be on the show? I had literally no idea. And I got all these messages from my friends being like, you're on Love Island. And I was like, I'm in a taxi. Like, I'm definitely <laughs> not on Love Island. And then suddenly I was like, oh my God, maybe, because they don't tell you if they're going to use your song, they just do it. Oh. So I got all these messages from my friends who were like freaking out. And I was like, oh my, like, I love the show so much that I couldn't believe that they'd actually used it. Had you sent them the song or had they just picked it up? Or? No, it was um, a friend of mine sent it in a long time ago and we had no idea if they wanted to use it or not. And I think they said yes, but like we might not. So I had like no expectations at all. So when that happened, I was like, Wow. <laughs> wow. I still can't really get over it. Wow. Because I love the show so much. 16 million streams later on Spotify. <laughs> it's just crazy. It, it's really, it's, Taylor it's so Swift incredible. has added it to her own personal playlist, so you've got to be happy with that. Yeah, I'm, I'm such a huge Taylor Swift fan. Like growing up, she was my complete idol. So I don't, I don't fangirl that hard for many people, but I do for Taylor Swift. So that's very. I think cool. you're alive. Really you're alive. I really do. Yeah. You're alive. Yeah, what, what, what is it about the song that you think has attracted people, uh, apart from the Love Island link? It's kind of strange because you know I write a lot of songs from personal experience, um, but most of the time there's kind of like a story. But this this one actually happened. So I think that's the difference between this song and the other songs. And I didn't. I actually didn't realize that I'd. That, that had happened to me until I sat down at the piano and sang it. I was like, oh, that moment, like, really affected me, like, a lot more than I thought. And it was actually kind of a therapeutic thing that I'm very grateful Does to get out. Does the person or the person involved in this song that made that moment happen, do they know? I think they might have an idea. Do they? <laughs> oh, have you I talked? Don't have you I, don't, I don't ever say who my songs are about and I don't ever tell the people. I just, I feel like it's not really Freya, fair. they wouldn't be watching this show, don't worry. <laughs> they are. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> tell this is someone else. Yeah. <laughs> but is it someone? We'll have exes. Like, you, there's always, you know, those, those moments where you just kind of, you feel that, you know, isolation and heartbreak and you just feel like, you know, you're never going to not feel it. But when you write a song, it kind of like helps you heal. And to actually for that to be the thing connecting with people means so much to me. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm actually going like this. Yeah. And also, she's managed to not tell us anything. So well uh, done, yeah, you. Yeah. She'll make a politician next. Make a politician. She's running for the doll. She's running for the doll <laughs> next. That was she brilliant. knows how not to answer a question. <laughs> yeah. Rebecca, are you watching Love Island? I have seen two episodes of it that I've kind of been coerced into watching. Right. So I, two of my very good friends love it. Obsessed. And we were in London at the weekend and it was, OK, well, now we all have to sit down and watch yeah. the island. Nora? Um, no, I mean, I have, you know, when you're zapping, I have left it on for a short <laughs> count. I, I saw the, all these bronzed bodies and yeah. pools and, <laughs> and, 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 and saw more bronzed bodies. And, and <laughs> I, I sort of thought, oh, it's big brothery kind of stuff again, is yeah. it? Or is it, is it more, is it more sure, they're hopping in. They're hopping is in higher bed. Than, is it more intellectual? They've, they've said the word oh, yes. Brexit yeah. is once. <laughs> the other <laughs> evening they were talking about geopolitics. Oh, yeah. 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 Yes, I know, yeah, and the environment. <laughs> and the, yeah. Well, they thought that Brexit meant there wasn't going to be any trees in England anymore. Anyway, we're not oh, going to get into God. that. That's yeah. not fair. <laughs> Freya, you have been described as a cross between Adele, who very much writes from her heart, and Florence the Machine, who also writes from the heart. Now, what do you make of that comparison, or do you wish you weren't compared to anyone? I know some people don't like comparisons, but I just find it compl like a complete honour. Like these are the the women that I like looked up to growing up, and it's kind of you know they were on my bedroom wall. So that is just it still blows me away. Now that you're anyone on their bedroom wall. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but at the same time, like it's, it's such a huge honour. I just I can't think of any you know higher. Well, you've got a good start. You're on Taylor Swift's personal playlist, so you know yes. you know. Just the idea that Taylor Swift know, yes. my, know my name like still makes me like actually freak out. Like I yes. turned into like a 15 year old girl again. I'm like, oh. Yeah. Well, 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 when you think about this, you've been writing songs since you were nine. 
I started early. But that was because I was, I was so dyslexic at school. That I really struggled like academically with like reading and writing and I was so bad. And so when I sort of found that I could like, you know, hear these songs, I couldn't read music. So all my music teachers like, gave up on me just one by one. They were like, no, we can't teach you. So I had to basically write my own songs because no one else would teach me anyone else's. Mm -hmm. But at the wow. time, I thought it was like a great weakness. And now I look back and I'm actually yeah. so, so grateful for that. Yeah. So you had to write by ear? Yeah, I couldn't read the music. Yeah. Um, so I just could like hear what I wanted to do. And I just kind of worked it out. And you play as well? Yeah, yes. I don't oh, have yeah. any grades. I don't have any like classical yeah, training. Play music. For children with dyslexia, hearing that, it's got to be such an amazing yeah. thing. Yeah. You know, so That's many incredible. dyslexic people have gone on to do stuff. But you also said that you've mentioned the word isolation and, and dealing with that as, as a young teenager and a young girl as mm -hmm. well. Music really helped you through. Oh, hugely. It's been, it's been kind of like an anchor that's like got me through the ups and downs of, you know, if you're different at school, if you're tall, if you're a redhead, if there's anything <laughs> that you might have, like, you know... You, that they can zone in on. Yeah, you, yeah, you're just different. Then, you know, you have to find that thing that sort of gets you through that tough time. And for me, that was songwriting and playing piano. And it's just such a revelation that it's now the thing that I get to do. I often wondered whether, whether girls with redhead, because I have a ginger son as well, and, and uh, now it's, he's gone greyish now, but, <laughs> but, uh, but he, he had uh, ginger hair. And I remember at his wedding, his best man wrote a most incredible speech and said you know Richard was born and his mother and father got a dreadful shock when the doctor came in and said I'm afraid I have something to tell you he's going to have red hair <laughs> <laughs> and he made a big joke out of it you know because yeah. he was a ginger the yeah. ginger, ginger as well mm -hmm. but I didn't I didn't think girls I thought girls would be attract would be people oh, would yeah, have to copy them kill to have this hair. Hair. Yeah. Yeah. strawberry blonde yeah. Stunning. Yeah. growing up before mascara it's a very different story <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well the mascara is going to be on display because we have you here right now but you're coming back to Ireland you're going to be in the Tivoli theater in Dublin yeah. on October the 24th we have to wait until I'm so excited to come back like playing in Dublin is like when one of my favorite shows of all time so to come back yeah you open for Ray de Montaigne here in Whelan's and, and yeah. so you've done it before yeah people here are just so welcoming and like I have like a like family well like my great-grandfather was from Dublin and my great-grandmother was from Galway I know it's not actually being yeah. Irish but hey, my, hey, my hey. mom gets oh, no, so excited whenever I do anything and Rose and Tree and everything you'll just walk straight in no, and you can sing so she's yeah, definitely I know. Yeah. Yeah, definitely yes um, yeah. my mom's very excited I'm here yeah. we're looking for to a debut album, a debut studio album. Mm -hmm. When's that to you? Early next year. We've just finished it, just come out of the studio, and we're just sort of finishing the last sort of tweaks. But I'm so, I'm so excited to share it with people. It's been just like so many years in the making. Do you know what? You love listening to her singing voice. You'd listen to her talking voice yes. all day as well. <laughs> Everyone <laughs> sounds yeah. so wonderful tonight. And do you know what? After the break, Freya is actually going to be giving us a live performance of her song, Lost Without You. So be sure to stay tuned for that one. Uh, the rest of us are